Why are there only waifus in your trailer? Because we can only make waifus. We know no other course of action <laughs> exists for us. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, uh, that quality, that is a quality response right there. We do have some Azure Permelia drama to go over. The fastest rating free fall goes to Azure Permelia for the cardinal sin of having males in their games. China is wild. Manju's official statement addressing the recent controversy surrounding Azure Permelia. It will be a female only gacha. This was such a controversial topic. The fact that there were male characters in a gotcha game was such a controversial topic. Manju themselves, the developers of Azure Permelia, felt it necessary to issue a public service announcement confirming that the game will not have male characters. <laughs> Manju make Azure Lane. Azure Lane is a predominantly, well, not predominantly, <laughs> exclusively female waifu gacha game. So I guess it kind of makes sense, but I guess Chinese players, they saw that there was the potential for a male character in the game and they lost their minds because God forbid there be a male character in their waifu game because gacha games are, are exclusively for women to play with women only. So. According to this Reddit thread, the rating dropped from 10 to 7.9 over the course of mere hours and is continuing its decline, but, or at the very least was continuing its decline, but Manju within just hours of this controversy coming to light made a statement over on Billy Billy. Which we're gonna translate and read. How is it a bad thing to have just female characters? It's not a bad thing to have just female characters, but at the same time, you are also inhibiting the success of your game because there are plenty of people that also like male characters, to pull for male characters. It doesn't bother me, honestly. I never play male characters in my gacha games anyway, but Mrs. Sticks loves husbandos. I know various different female content creators and streamers that love male characters and probably are less inclined to play or spend money on this if there is no option for male characters. Here is their, here is their public statement. First of all, I'd like to sincerely thank you all for your attention to the latest game. After the PV was released, we received a lot of suggestions and feedback on various platforms. We carefully read and sorted out the issues that everyone was concerned about. Everyone expressed their opinions on the original intention of the game, product, and the direction of subsequent production, content, and vision. Here we'd like to talk to you about some of the podcast plans and directions, or product plans rather, and directions. Why was Azure Permelia suddenly released for the first time? The project has been established around 2021, so this game has been in development for three years so far. It has recently received a version number. We believe that the first exposure is a test to expose a product to the market for users to test. So we have displayed the current development results of the project in the first exposure PV. We also hope that everyone can test what we have done in the past few years. Phased results of efforts here. I'd like to once again thank everyone who has paid attention to and looked forward to the game, which keeps translating into Blue Star Plains Travel Ballad for some reason. I guess this is an important question. Will Azure Permelia have an impact on the future development of Azure Lane? We hereby responsibly promise that we will not this game has established a separate project team, so they've they've actually created a new team specifically for the game. The project was established it only inherited the art-related management experience of Azure Lane, and the research and development project teams have always been completely independent. Azure Lane is Manju's uh, representative work. In fact, we have not slacked off in the past two years. We've been trying our best to make such an old product that has been in operation for nearly seven years without affecting the original user habits from... Okay, um, kind of world is it? Content of Promelia hosts multiple civilizations, cultures, and ecologies, but will, again, only have males or only have females that you can pull for. Players will play the role of Starlanders, so not wanderers, not travelers, not trailblazers, Starlanders. After entering the game, they can design their own character. They can design their own character image. Azure Promelia is going to have a full character creator. That is... Very interesting. I admittedly have never played a gacha game, open world, like Wuthering Waves, like Genshin Impact, 
that allows for you to actually create your character. Tower of Fantasy was the first, but that's because it was an MMO. So you're gonna be able to, yeah, that's a big W. In this adventure, there'll be various magical strange waves and characters with different personalities accompanying us on our journey. So this right here is what has people upset. Why are there only female characters in the PV? Because we have always been good at designing and controlling female characters. <laughs> so why are there only waifus in your trailer? Because we can only make waifus. We know no other course of action <laughs> exists for us. <laughs> uh, that's, that's, uh, that quality, that is a quality response right there. We are very clear about the future direction of the project. The worldview of Azure Permelia is a continent with many species and different races. Our initial plan was that only female characters could be attained from the Star Arrival card pool. So all the characters that could be displayed in the PV were females. Characters, not NPCs. It's interesting because they say our initial plan was that only female characters could be obtained. So all the characters displayed in the PV were females. Our initial plan. Where in this does it say that is still their plan? I don't see a confirmation thus far that that is going to remain their long-term plan. Unless, of course, because this is translated using Google Translate. So it might be different if translated, you know, by someone with a, a proper understanding of Chinese. What is going on with the pictures circulating on the internet now? So I think that there was a male character leaked. And I use the term leaked here very loosely. A work in progress leaks for male characters in Azure Premelia. Moderators removed the post. Why? It doesn't say why the post was removed, but this right here was supposedly leaked. Now, I will note that it was probably removed due to this being false or fake, or maybe an early draft or something. I don't know. I'm not saying that it was official. A character was leaked and that is what i'm assuming this here was in reference to some interested people use the early settings of our npcs and villain boss to invalidate the cases these invalid cases would not appear in the game create rumors and create false character relationship information maliciously guiding users for these false informations we use legal means to resolutely safeguard the rights and interests of manju there, there you have it. A direct confirmation from Manju themselves. This leak is an early version of an NPC and villain boss. They were using this to spread the rumor that male characters were going to be present, playable, and obtainable in-game. When the reality of the case is that is completely invalid. That was a fake rumor and players are attempting to use it to maliciously attack Azure Premelia. Probably to create, to fabricate this, this narrative to, to rile up players and get them to lash out and attack the game. So it inhibits its potential success. This happens all the time with games. People love to fabricate drama to try and force communities to attack them. Doing so definitely hinders the game's potential success. Waifus, at least for now, them confirming the fake information surrounding the male characters spreading. When will the beta start? Our plan is to stabilize the existing internal version first. After stabilization, conduct a series of very small scale closed testing for external players. Use to collect opinions and refine products. We hope to further optimize the product through the feedback from the closed beta test opening the open recruitment test. However, gradually disclose some of our currently completed game content on the official SNS. In the past two days, due to the release of the first PV, Manju has received unprecedented attention from both inside and outside the industry. We're flattered and at the same time feel stressed. Frankly speaking, we only regard this PV as an answer sheet for users in the market and hand over the phase results to everyone for testing. We have to give everyone something to look forward to. Soon after the PV was released, various news related to us spread on the internet, either recognition or controversy. And honestly, this is always going to happen. It doesn't matter how incredible a game looks. It doesn't matter how nice a person is. There is always drama. There is always controversy that is going to surround it. It is still continuing to this day. As Manju, we want to say we know very well the, what kinds of products we have accumulated over the years. Yeah, big booba waifus. 
to support the production of products, and we also understand how to handle the relationship between Starlanders and characters in Azure Premelia. Yeah, with big booba waifus. Things are changing rapidly, but our original intention of making games that everyone can have fun has never changed. All right, okay, I see these are all Chinese players. Only female characters are, are available. Only female characters can be attained. Okay, I'm just waiting for your words. Lots of Chinese players rejoicing at the fact that there are exclusively female characters. Honestly, it doesn't bother me. It it doesn't bother me. I play Nikkei, which has only female characters. I play Blue Archive, which has only female characters. I love gacha games that have exclusively female or female male. It really doesn't bother me. I'm gonna play it regardless. I do hope they add in male characters just so it appeals to a larger demographic of players, but at the end of the day, it is completely on them with what they do. I'm excited either way, though. Not issue becoming an issue? I know, right? Like, the fact that it dropped its rating from a 10 to a 7.9 and it continued, and then it was such a controversial topic that the devs themselves had to issue a public announcement. My god.